Picture this, you're walking down the street, talking like you've always talked, but then... Get a voice crack! And suddenly... Your voice will sound like this. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the science of vocal change. Puberty is a natural change that happens to members of both gender, but when it comes to the voice, puberty predominantly affects boys, as the female vocal change is barely audible. The larynx undergoes vocal changes. Prepubescent children have relatively small vocal boxes and cords, but when the larynx expands, the vocal cords strengthen, the voice becomes lower. This is audible for boys, but not so much for girls. The larynx, which is located on top of the trachea or windpipe, is a key organ associated with the voice. Vocal cords are muscles stretched across the larynx. When air from the lungs reaches the larynx, the vocal cords vibrate, creating sounds. The vibration of the vocal cords produces the pitch of the voice. As children undergo puberty, their larynxes grow and their vocal cords strengthen. This causes the deepening of the voice because the vocal cords act like rubber bands, and thicker cords vibrate at different frequencies as thinner cords. Along with that, growth of the facial bones create empty spaces in the sinuses or nose and the enlargement of the back of the throat. This space in the face allows the voice to resonate. Funny how that rhymes. You often hear about the voice crack or vocal break. Voice cracks are occasional squeaks that happen when boys undergoing the vocal change adjust to the growing larynx. These happen to everybody and only last for a few months. It's basically because your larynx is growing so quickly that it's difficult to control. The voice change happens between ages 11 and 15, but development and change can continue until the 20s. One's range at the end of the voice change depends on their genes. A range is all the notes you can sing, from highest to the lowest. I have a changing voice. My vocal range has become lower from what it was before. I can sing notes that are pretty low, but definitely not as low as that guy. Here's my lower range. <laughs> yep, my voice is pretty low. Here are some pretty low notes. We have unchanged voices. Our voices can sing pretty high. As high as... Boys with changed voices still retain the ability to sing high notes with their falsetto. Alex, what is a falsetto? A falsetto is where you use your head voice to sing in a high range. Like this. Say hello to falsetto in three, two, swipe. I'd like to be everything you want. Hey girl, let me talk to you. Having a changing voice can be embarrassing because you never know when you'll get a voice crack. And if you're practicing for a solo, months of work can be diminished in one day when you realize you can't sing that one note anymore. But once your voice changes, you'll become a tenor, baritone, or bass, an integral component of every choir, and a voice part unique to the male. Occasionally, baritones will have to use their falsetto. I love my voice! Me too! The tenors are awesome! So are the baritones and the altos and the sopranos. They're all great, different, but still great. And that's the science of vocal changes. We hope you enjoyed this movie, and remember, always love your voice.